this video cover the primary air pollutants, namely mercury and lead. Their sources, electric water, food, uh, inhaling mercury, and even how we can able to control this uh, mercury and uh, as well as the lead. First, I'll take a mercury. So, oh, it is a very poisonous material which converted in gases form. When we inhale this uh, gas, uh, it is usually where uh, volcanic gases containing mercury, if it is in inhaled, inhaled it, it will cause a lot of damage to kidney, lung, digestive system. Uh, here, the volcanic gas related uh, uh, gas released uh, mercury from the uh, ocean. So it is a large quantity of mercury is uh, introduced, but the total quantity of mercury in the atmosphere is a uh, very less percentage. But even though that percentage, the main uh, source of that uh, mercury is a volcanoes. Uh, and even by the human activity, uh, it releases some amount of mercury. That is a coal combustion, a waste incineration. Even in the metal processing uh, uh, industries, like in the case of metal uh, incineration, waste incineration, so that is it. Nowadays, the e waste, the basic uh, uh, materials or things waste we absorb, in that uh, the electronic waste usually contains some quantity of mercury. So, it is uh, to uh, disposing this uh, waste, it is continuously heated in a a large uh, furnace at a very high temperature. During this process, a mercury, a volatile mercury, a mercury, mercury which is present in that waste is converted into a volatile form and it enters into the atmosphere. It is the one way of uh, introducing mercury to the atmosphere. And even uh, what the batteries we use, thermometers used, electric switches used, or uh, dental fillings, in nowadays it is changed, ceramic filling. But in the uh, uh, olden days, usually in the dental field, we absorb mercury. And even some pharmaceutical industry, the mercuries are used as a catalyst. So, in this way, we can introduce mercury to the atmosphere. And the other thing is extraction of ore from mining. So, to extract the mercury, uh, the ore in a bar that is continuously heated, again, the volatile mercury is entered into the atmosphere. These are the natural sources. These are the natural sources and even the anthropogenic sources. Mercury. So that is a volcanoes uh, human, by human activities, coal combustion, waste incinerations, metal processing industries, batteries, thermometers, electric uh, switches or electric equipments, dental filling, pharmaceutical and even the extraction of coal. What is the cause or the ill effect observed uh, by the mercury? The mercury exists in a various form. It may be in the elemental form or it may be in the form of methyl mercury, which is very toxic to the nervous system. So here, the entire body, so it, to entire body, it affects when we inhale the mercury. It deteriorates the nervous system. The basic thing what we observe when we inhale the mercury, it deteriorates the nervous system. So it is toxic to the nervous system. The inhalation of mercury vapor can produce harmful effects on the nervous, digestive and immune system, lungs and kidney. That is all body gets corroded or it is to riches. And, impair, Im, and there one more thing what we observe is by impairs hearing, speech, vision and okay, causes involuntary muscle movement corrodes the skin and mucous membrane, causes, uh, causes uh, chewing and swelling to become difficult. So that is, it, the inhalation of mercury vapor can produce harmful effect on the nervous digestive system, immune system, lungs and kidney. The inorganic salt of mercury are corrosive to the skin, eyes and uh, even gastro intestinal tract. The exposure of different mercury compounds affects my memory loss. That's already uh, uh, discussed, like hearing, speech, vision, and the narrow muscular system, headache, etc. That means it harms the entire body, human 
about it affects. Then how we can control this? That is promote the use of clean uh, energy. So uh, we have to take a special care where this mercury is continuously introduced to the atmosphere. We have to take care. So the gold extraction for that mercury is needed. We have to take care in that area. How we do that. And uh, uh, the, uh, we have to promote the use of clean energy sources uh, other than mercury sources. Eliminate mercury mining. Okay. We have to eliminate the mercury mining. You and use of mercury in gold extraction. So for gold extraction, instead of uh, mercury, we have to use some alternative method to extract the gold. Avoid the use of mercury products like thermometer, batteries. Nowadays, instead of using uh, mercury operated thermometer, we use evacuated, uh, evacuated uh, thermometer, vacuum filled thermometers. That means we can avoid to some extent the use of mercury. Like if it is broken, so again the mercury is introduced to the atmosphere. So that's why if you are, you are if you are not using the thermometer which is operated or which is, which is uh, having the mercury or even the batteries or even uh, the thermo uh, flask, okay, then we can control to some extent. And the thing is recycling and reusing of mercury is one of the method to control the mercury uh, in, uh, to enter into the atmosphere. So usually if mercury reacts or if it enter into the atmosphere, it will react with the nitrate and digested and even it's soluble and uh, into the atmosphere. So it should be avoided. So that's why uh, prevention is better than. So that's why we have to minimize the use of mercury. The other one material or here you can observe some uh, the mercury causing uh, effects on human body. See, it is a mercury poisoning, includes peripheral uh, neuropathy, uh, that is pain, loss of sensations, inability to control muscles, shedding skin or skin discolor uh, decolorization, what we called it as a pink coloring or in other words, uh, it's a pink decolorization. It's a pain, pink disease, minimata disease. These are all caused due to the uh, mercury inhalation. Mercury is a, a particularly toxic to fetus and children. Men who have been exposed to mercury in pregnancy have it sometimes even the birth to children with a serious birth defects. So, so and even uh, that's why we have to avoid the use of mercury. The next, the another dangerous element is a lead, uh, which is uh, occurring in the lead mineral. Natural sources are by lead mineral and the other the sources is combustion of uh, ICNG, the combustion of leaded petrol in internal combustion engine. It is a lead is a heavy metal and it is a poisonous. A uh, petrol containing lead usually used in order to make a good performance. It is usually impart a lead particles. Okay, even though some uh, uh, bromide components are introduced, ethyl or methyl bromide components are introduced to reduce the uh, lead component, but it is a uh, 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 less volatile lead in order to make it to a less volatile lead. But even though, so internal combustion engine usually introduce uh, some lead component to the atmosphere. So then lead smelters. So incineration of lead batteries. The battery contain lead batteries. You may be observed. A lead dust, lead dirt, and main lead uh, uh, things are introduced to the atmosphere is by the paint lead containing paints and oil particularly lead containing a yellow paint which is made up of a chromate component which is entered into the atmosphere causes a health hazarding disease okay so e-waste e recycling and uh, waste incineration that is a continuous heating process as a result lead is entered into the atmosphere disposal of lead batteries mining so these are the main sources of lead, lead paint, combustion of internal uh, or leaded petrol in internal combustion engine, lead smelter, uh, incineration of lead, then lead paints, batteries and mining. These are the main sources of lead and that enter into the atmosphere. What are the effect observed by the lead? Okay. The lead. So 
it mainly damage to the brain and nervous system high level of exposure to lead damage the blood brain nervous kidney reproductive organ immune system okay so the damage to the brain and nervous system and kidney even immune systems and the other thing is lower lead level it's a very high level lower level of lead results in rising hypertension in middle age of people also led to lead to a behavioral problem and learning deficient deficiency in children learning and behavioral problem the second damage to brain and nervous system lower level uh, exposure of lead results in rising hypertension in particularly middle age group and for the children it leads to a learning and behavioral problem and even it shows a, in, uh, a growth decrease the growth and development hearing and speech problem that is uh, 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 when exposed uh, the children are exposed to the lead that hearing and speech problem is observed evaluated level of lead in the atmosphere can lead to decrease in growth and reproductive rates in animal and plants then how can we control the lead the lead smelting plant should design their storage wells in such a way that the moment them of lead material is minimized in the air that is how you have to change the design of the specific smelting plants then eliminate the lead contamination in the drinking water by process such as reverse osmosis and distillation there is just a uh, um, in the printed circuit board or in the industries medicinal in industries electronic industries are made up of or it live, uh, use a lot of lead and we have to take care to take care while uh, introducing this lead to the atmosphere what are contaminated with lead should, uh, should be properly treated before introducing to the uh, before using it as a drinking water it is particularly observed in the andhra pradesh etc where the water uh, should be purified before using uh, minimize plant absorption of lead content in agricultural soil by maintaining ph level 6.5 in the uh, 6.5 ph range or in almost neutral ph range the absorption of lead by a plant get reduced so that's why the soil ph range we have to maintain to about 6.5 so that the lead absorption of uh, uh, lead content in agricultural soil the absorption can be minimized another method is by using uh, by adding organic matter like composted leaves which binds the lead content in the soil and thereby reduces the lead so these are the few methods adopted to control the lead particles enter into the atmosphere or which causes the uh, some diseases to the human being or effect on the human human beings thank you